I think the difficulty is always in these situations is when you get a build up of troops and it's obvious that Vladimir Putin is building up these troops as a form of coercion to bully and intimidate his neighbour Ukraine to get international attention, uh, to get world le leaders around the table to address the issues that he and the Russian people have had for a long time, which is the eastward, as they see it, the eastward expansion of NATO and their absolute determination that Ukraine, which is such a special place in the hearts of Russian people, should not become a member of NATO. That's his end goal. Of course, no one in NATO, no Western leader is going to say, well, yes, of course, Ukraine's never going to join NATO. Um, that's up to the Ukrainian people at the end of the day as a sovereign nation. Uh, and that's where we are. But what difference does it make if Ukraine joins NATO? I mean, what difference does it make to NATO? Why, not, why, not, why, why agitate Russia in, in this particular way, is what I'm saying. I think the difficulty is you're giving in then to bullying and intimidation by a big superpower like Russia uh, on its weaker neighbour. Now, I say its weaker neighbour. Ukraine still has a very significant uh, armed force. And... Vladimir Putin knows if he was to move in mm -hmm. uh, to try in any significant way uh, to move into Ukraine, he would be met with fierce resistance. They have a standing army of some 200, 250,000 people and plenty of reservists and, of course, uh, a desire on their uh, part not to be taken over by Russia. Uh, and so they would fight to the last.